evening. Welcome to our 9 o'clock hour. I am Mary Sloan along with my daughter, Tony Suchka. And tonight has been Ladies Night. Ladies We're Night. We're going to have that That's music right. again. I don't know, but anyhow, <laughs> it's Ladies Night tonight. we got some beautiful ladies on tonight. And One of my friends, I guess she watched the first, Joanne Brilliant. Uh, I love Joanne. Oh, yes. Um, she said, great show tonight. Love you, ladies. Some so. good information, huh? It is. I, I, Very good. I love any time we can hear from someone else and be encouraged. On, right. You know, sometimes it's like Jamie said, keeping things simple. I know um, I've always heard kiss. Keep it simple, sister. You know? <laughs> that is where I already If you can keep, keep it simple, <laughs> <laughs> you can keep it simple, then you can be successful. I like sister, though. That's yeah. nice. That's good. So. Anyway. <laughs> yes, anyway, I'm going to read the scripture that we have for tonight. I love this because it's talking about just, you know, new things and not dwelling on the past. It's in Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. And it says, it literally does say, stop dwelling on the past. Don't even remember these former things. I am doing a brand, something brand new, something unheard of. Now, I love that. Oh, something brand new, brand something new. unheard mm. of. Even now it sprouts and grows and matures. Mm. Don't you perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and open up flowing streams in the desert. That's what we want. Yes. What a great scripture. So I am I really love that and I'm going to remind myself of this scripture on the hard days because, you know, I think it's the hard days that grow our faith. Mm. For me it is anyway. If everything was always perfect, I'm not sure I would think I need him <laughs> as much as I know I need him. Right. And so I feel like the, the things that I've gone through um, in my life has stretched my faith. Exactly. Because he's answered prayers through those situations. And thank God we're under this new covenant called grace. Yes. Praise mm. the Lord. That's grace, good. unmerited favor yes. that we do not deserve, nor did we earn, but we get it because of Jesus and great? the finished work on the cross. Yes. So we've got beautiful Tish Jordan from Halo Beauty. You got to check out her place whether you want to get um, a cute top because I saw them on her uh -oh. Facebook page. You got tops, <laughs> and, uh, <gasps> and uh, that's my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> but she's gonna get ready to sing for us. But she's got earrings and her own candle line and clothes, and they do. Um, mm facials and lashes and all that fun stuff. So you'll have to check that out. Go to her website, myhalobeauty.com. But she's going to sing Goodness of God. I love you, Lord. Though your mercy never fails me and in all my days I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God And all my life you have been of God. 
Thank you, Tish. I appreciate her coming yes. and not only being here to speak and share her heart, but also to um, share in song and worship. So I always appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So we're going to talk a little bit more with Michelle. So I know Michelle from Sports Club, but I'm really probably going to get to know her the most tonight. <laughs> so I um, sent you an email and asked you if you would be willing to come on because I knew that the different things that you did and mm -hmm. I felt like it would be a great compliment to, you know, talking about beauty and diet and then some of the things that you can offer that also, you know, help. But I'm going to read a little bit about you. Michelle graduated from Southeastern School of Neuromuscular and Massage Therapy in 2005 and has worked in health and fit fitness industry since 2007. Her goal as a fitness professional is to help her clients manage pain, improve posture, and increase performance in every aspect of their lives. So. I appreciate you taking the time to be here, even though it was hard to find. <laughs> it can be difficult to find at times. So we made it. Yes, we All did. We did. And you look beautiful. Oh, thank I you. I love your your dark long hair. It's just so pretty. Oh, thank um, you. So tell me what your favorite part of your job is, and you may have to ex explain. And we'll get into some of this um, as we go. But you do several things at sports club. Mm -hmm. But what's your favorite? The favorite part of it. Um, everything as a whole gives me the chance to help someone. Um, they can leave feeling better about themselves. Um, they get to have a good workout or whether it's a massage, but you get to leave feeling better and, yeah. and being able to improve someone's quality of life is the most rewarding part. Right. And um, how did you, I know we're going to talk about this more too, but when did you incorporate massage? How long uh, have you been doing that? I graduated in 2005, so that was my first job with Sports Club, actually. Have you been so doing that, that I've, long there? I have been wow. with Sports Club for 13 years this month, so mm -hmm. it's my anniversary month. Wow. I've worked about six different departments. They've been patient with me as I'm like, I want to do this now, yeah. and can I try <laughs> that? So I'm very well, that's lucky. that's cool. That's cool. Well, I guess you have to stay motivated, so what inspires and motivates you? Seeing your name on the schedule and knowing that if you don't show up, you're not going to have a job. So oh, <laughs> that's, I love that about group fitness. I, I've always loved group fitness. I was a member before I was um, an employee. Mm -hmm. And I loved going to the classes. And I said for about 10 years that I was like, I want to do that. I want to do that. And it took a while, but I finally did it. And, and it's great. I love that's it. That's kind of how it happened with me. I had been going there for many, many years. And actually, um, I have to give credit to Libby Stewart. She saw me in a step class, and she said, you should teach. And my stomach <laughs> got all in knots. I was like, what? I could never exercise and talk on a mic at the same time. I would be out of breath or this yeah. and that. And I got so nervous, and I was like, no, no, no. But she put that. She planted that seed. Right. And so I guess uh, I've been at sports club maybe eight years teaching. and. Wow. 
I just, I love it. And it, like you said, Tish, it brings out something mm -hmm. in me because I'm very, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to talk to anybody when I'm at the gym. Right. <laughs> so it brought out something in me to um, <laughs> put on that friendly face at the gym <laughs> that um, I didn't typically have. <laughs> That's how it was for me. I took classes and I would follow certain instructors and one of them was Laurie Greenway. Yeah. And she started Raised Bar and that was the mm -hmm. first like choreographed class that I started teaching. She's like, come on, you would be great at this with your massage background, you know, anatomy, and it's based on Pilates, and you'd be great at it. And I was like, okay, yeah. let's do it. And mm -hmm. it was tough to learn, but it's been very much worth it. Yeah, that's cool. Well, how does it uh, strengthen you mentally and, this and spiritually? <sighs> mentally, you whether you're coming up with your own choreography or learning someone else's, it's both a challenge. And both of those, um, I definitely have to rely on God for because going in there, getting in front of someone, whether you're having a good day or a bad day, they're depending on you for a great class. And sometimes I'm not motivated. Sometimes I don't feel well. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I remember this track. And I, I always say a prayer beforehand. God, mm. just let me use this time to motivate someone, help me to give them a good class, mm -hmm. and help me to be positive. And sometimes I am, and sometimes I'm not my best, but that's where grace comes in, so. <laughs> I get to think about the many times Tony's there, and I'm thinking, good, how does she do all that? She'll, she'll we use Voxer as an app, <laughs> app to talk to each other. God forbid we actually I'm call I'm sitting down other. editing books. <laughs> she'll, she'll, hey. Are you watching 700 Club? <laughs> Turn it there. I'm like, Mom, I'm on my way to the gym. Or I've, I've already taught to two classes gym? and I'm headed to the grocery store. Uh, and she's like, watch the 700 Club. <laughs> I have to tell you what Pat Robertson says sometime, huh? <laughs> Did you see the news? Did you? Do, you got to start watching this. And I'm like, I'm so busy that, that my season of life is All different. All she knows is the gym and what else and get to the grocery <laughs> store and cooking and all that. But that's you okay. That I used to do that. You do. And it's <laughs> kept me on my toes of like, used to when I'd go on vacation, like I didn't exercise, but now you kind of have to because you mm -hmm. come back and you got to be able mm -hmm. to teach that those mm -hmm. classes and, you know, so yeah. definitely mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> now, how do you encourage others through this platform with, I know you said you, and when group fitness, you, you know, pray for them or you even pray. I know you're encouraging. I think with any group fitness instructor, whether you've got a bad day or not, you got to get up there with a smile and give yeah. a good class. Sure. Um, but how do you use your platform with your training and massage therapy? It's difficult. Um, I don't have the freedom to, mm -hmm. to just open up with everyone. Uh, so you kind of have to know your audience and and sometimes get to know people as friends outside of of, of work mm -hmm. um, I've even I had a friend who was not from the area she we met from at the gym and we became friends and her first language is French she was from Quebec and she didn't understand Christianity so I actually looked up on the Bible app and found a French translation um, of Romans 12. And I was like, I feel like this is a really good start for you to understand more about Christianity. And she read it and she loved it and she was so appreciative. So just little mm -hmm. things. That's was really it? cool. Yeah. I mean, you'll never know like what impact right. that, that mm -hmm. made, you know? Sure. I love that. <laughs> I love opportunities like that, mm -hmm. um, that the Lord just puts in front of us to be able to share it. So. I've learned that it doesn't, every, anything, you know, lots of things can make me happy, but when I have had the opportunity to share Christ in some way, I get such just a high from that. Mm -hmm. Like it's just the best feeling. Mm -hmm. So that's yes. cool. Um, what, tell us a little bit about your massage. Um, you said you've been doing that for quite some time there at Sports Club. You started yes. there doing that 13 years. Yes. Um, share with our viewers the benefits of massage. We may have viewers that have never ever gotten a massage, which that's not true in our case here. Um, I take advantage of that and I know mom has as well. But the benefits just um, overall and then sure. maybe for different ages. There are hundreds of types of massages, whether um, you're just looking to relax or you've been dealing with chronic pain for years, it can help with both. It's going to boost circulation. It's going to boost your lymphatic system. It's going to decrease stress. And we know stress is like the number one killer. So, um, and even just getting into like the athletic side, whether it's deep tissue or doing more stretching related sports massage, it's all, it, it all benefits you inside and out. So you can move better, increase range of motion and 
and it feels good. What, Miss? Yeah, it does feel good. Yeah, it <laughs> Some of the deep tissue doesn't so feel as good. <laughs> do you do deep tissue? Yes. Being in the gym, a lot of my clients have kind of earned a reputation for yeah. deep tissue, so. Do you do hot stone? I don't. You don't? Okay. I burned someone years ago. And oh, they scared me ever since. I thought they didn't burn. I was always told there was no oh, way they could burn. They're pretty hot. They're hot. I've burned myself, too. Oh, you really? So, wow. Yeah. I, I think in the that. summer I'd like to start a cold stone because yeah. cryotherapy is good for you, <laughs> yeah. too. So, sure is. I could do cold stone. I'm fine with not burning anyone. <laughs> you know, I had that years ago and I felt like. I just didn't enjoy it. Oh, she she kept it. putting stones like up right here, and I was like, "What?" You go that way. My eyes felt like they were going cross eyed, and um, she she didn't use them to massage. She just kept placing them on my back, and I felt like my That's whole massage was wasted mm. by her getting going back and forth getting rocks. That's how I feel. I'm like I'm trying I was to like, you wasted at least ten minutes of my massage getting these stones. So. Oh, I love the rocks. <laughs> I love a massage. I'm actually getting one tomorrow. So anyway, uh, you'll brag a little bit. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Pilates Reformer and how that strengthens strengthens the body. But tell us what that is, because that may not be something other, our viewers are familiar with. Okay, um, Pilates Reformer is it's a machine that is based. You, you use the Pilates method. But the machine itself kind of looks like a torture device, but it's, it has a carriage, it has springs, so you're getting your strength training from springs and pulling your own body weight and spring resistance rather than dumbbells or barbells. Um, so it's it was originally created by Joseph Pilates to increase range of motion, to really connect to the core. It's about breath and movement and control and piecing all these things together. Um, a lot of the movements are very similar to what you might see in a physical therapy setting. So it's really good for anyone <laughs> who's struggling with pain or range of motion <laughs> or any form of exercise. And even if you're not, it, it's gonna help you connect to your core. Uh, a lot of us forget how to turn certain muscles on, mm -hmm. whether it's bad habits or lack of activity. Our muscles, with time, they'll turn off, and we have to reteach them how to fire. And I think I took a, a sample class of that one time with Lori, and my core was so sore in my back, <laughs> and it's probably a safe way, too, if you're not even familiar with gym equipment to come in and try that because mm -hmm. it's a machine and you're getting more one-on-one -on -one with someone like you right. uh, to do that. So. so when I saw that Pilates reformer, I went on Google and I thought, wow, <laughs> that is a machine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. It was yeah, and it can be, some machine. people get a little intimidated mm -hmm. by its looks and also when you're on there, you're moving the straps and your body is moving with it. So it's a little kind of surreal at first when you're like moving around for the first time, your mm -hmm. legs are in the straps. But once you get the feel for it, you, you, you find those connections. So and there's benefits for the massage and the Pilates reformer. Mm -hmm. huh? I have never, I don't know anything about Pilates reformer. You should come see me. Yeah. I'll give you a free session and show you. Who, would you. who would you say would benefit from massage or Pilates reformer? Everyone. Um, People even with in the back problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely back problems. Um, it, massage therapy, I've treated um, adolescents as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I require parents to be in the room, but I've had clients say, my five-year-old has this going on. Can I work on, can you work on them? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bring them in. I mean, kids have injuries just as much as we do, whether it's a sprained ankle or, mm -hmm. or who knows yeah. what they do with their kids. Right, right. <laughs> Well, um, what are some of your personal strengths and weaknesses? Um, personal strengths and weaknesses. One weakness, especially in the field, is um, lack of confidence because there's so much to learn about the body and trying to like, do a little bit of everything. Yes. It's hard to stay on top. You want to give your clients your best and you, you want to be up to date with knowledge. Right. And when there's so much to learn, it's it's definitely a struggle like do I know this do I know that do I know what I'm doing and why are they trusting me and and sometimes I have to look back and remember everything I've gone through all the trainings and I'm like oh yeah I I do know more than yeah. I think I do and you pro yeah you don't give yourself enough credit probably <laughs> right <laughs> but I mean that ties back into faith so that reminds me my strength is reminding me to depend on his Mm -hmm. confidence and not mine because mm -hmm. it's not about what I'm doing I'm not doing it for me I'm doing it for other people 
So that would be more my strength. So how can people get in touch with you if they want to come see you? Like, do they have to be a member at Sports Club to get a massage? No. Um, it's open to the public. They can contact me by email. They can call Sports Club. Um, so there's multiple ways. Uh, we are located at 712 Congaree Road. That's where the spa is. Uh, there's two other locations. Unfortunately, there's not massage at those. But there's lots of other nice. options, classes. And well, we had discussed a giveaway, and Michelle has brought from Sports Club. They have so graciously offered a three-month, <laughs> um, let me pull this out. It's a three-month family membership. Family. And here's some information about the club in here. And ladies' nightline giveaway. So three-month family membership. This, the locations are on Congaree Road in Greenville and Simpsonville on Main Street or in Five Forks. Is that Scuffletown Road, I think? Yes. So if you live in Traveler's Rest, you're probably not going to benefit, like unless you're willing to drive. <laughs> but um, just know, I'm going to take the first caller right now for a gym membership to Sports Club. We appreciate Sports Club um, doing that. I know that yes. um, we have about a hundred instructors and how many classes do we have like between oh, all three clubs um, there's always a class um, mm -hmm. that you can find wow. for your fitness level so and um, all types everything from yes there's boot camps to low impact and aqua right. and zumba and whatever there's everything everything strength training um, if you're getting started it's there's low impact and all of Les Mills programs as well so Lots of options there. All right, so Tish is going to sing one more song for us tonight, and it's called Break Every Chain.
chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. We want to thank everybody that's joined us here tonight with all these ladies. So, uh, my, what a good word from every one of them. And we are especially excited about this salvation that came in tonight. Thank the Lord. And we've had a lot of prayer requests to come in. Somebody's called. They're having shortness of breath. And here's someone that's had a heart attack, having leg problems. And uh, somebody praying for strength. Tony, what you got? Well, I was looking through these, and there's many requests here. Um, someone's actually calling in um, for salvation for uh, family members and selling their home. And I um, you, wanted to personally pray for your father-in-law. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Danny. That's correct. And um, I know that your husband had to head to your hometown. Mm -hmm. um, so we just want to lift him up tonight yes. in prayer. And I know that there's many, many people out there that need prayer tonight, whether it's um, a financial situation or a relationship or physical healing. I know that I am believing the Lord for physical healing in my body. Amen. And I know that his word says, as he is, so are we in this world. As Jesus is, it doesn't say as he was, it says as he is today. And he sits at the right hand of the Father. He's whole and well. And so I just speak that over you. As he is, yes. so are you today in this world. So I just ask that you would open up your hands in a posture of receiving. I just want to pray over you. Lord, we ask that you meet every viewer tonight, everyone watching. We lift up uh, Jamie's father-in-law, Danny. Yes. We speak complete healing to his body right now. And I thank you that you get her husband there safely. I thank you, Father, for all three of these ladies and how you will use them to minister to people. I pray for the relationships that are broken, the friendships that are lost. I pray restoration in marriages, Lord. I thank you for healing in bodies, Lord, from the head to the toe, whatever it may be, whether it's a headache, whether it's cancer. We thank you, Father, that as Jesus is today, so are we in this world. You're blessed. Thank you for joining us tonight. Blessings.